Good morning, YouTube. It is currently good morning, YouTube. It is currently Tuesday morning. Today, I'm going to be headed to New York City. I got the new Goon Runner, and I'm very curious to see how this bike is going to ride in New York. They didn't want to let me on the train with the bike, so I got an hour and 15 minute ride to this city. To be honest, I don't mind it. The weather is very nice this morning. So. I just ran into Zay Enterprises to be on his throne. We're literally linked on accident, y'all. He's going to New York today too, so it's definitely gonna be a lit day. All right, y'all, we on the bus. We got Darnway, Adrian, Zay Rosati. No. All right, man, we just made it to New York. Thank you. Feel me? Gotta get the bikes. Well, I want to show y'all something. A year ago, I came out here and I put my sticker on this pole. Guess what? Still there. Another Steely sticker siding in New York. So we got the Poppy Star? No, it's the Aki Star. Oh, uh, can I get a chopped cheese? Chopped cheese or ketchup. Yeah. And you got barbecue sauce? Yeah, on a roll. Thank you. I ain't gonna lie, boss man. I'm gonna get the same shake he got. Alright, y'all. Just got a chopped cheese. All right, y'all, we are currently in New York City. We're about to head to Times Square, get some vibes today. Woo. Today's gonna kind of be like a POV day in the city. We got Rosati Adrian, first time riding his bike out here, and we got Zay from Philly. And yeah, it should be a good day. I was not expecting to be on my new bike in New York, but here we are. It should be fun, man. Look at that M4. That's one of my dream cars right there. Watch him. Oh my, I don't know how I saved that. Watch, Watch him. NPC. Swim. That was crazy. What? 
Zoom. What the? F Bro, this nigga is different. Times Square right now, yo. y'all really unexpected this trip was only supposed to be a philly trip but i decided that i'm gonna go to new york for the day and here we are with my new bike in new york city catching a vibe at pier 76 right now 
10 out of 10 will recommend you guys get a bike and go travel somewhere go travel to your favorite city new york is definitely one of my favorite cities to travel to because the traffic work the people the vibes beautiful city i mean it's just, it's a vibe man truly catching a vibe I'm gonna be out all day i got three gopro batteries so a lot of pov action man Supposed to be meeting up with O Blocks at Central Park, and he should should be somewhere over here. All right, you. I heard the hub. Oh, what's up, gangster? On the new John. Tight shit. All right, let's hit Central. Oh, this guy got to eat his fruits. Oh shit. Watch him. Watch him. Watch him. Watch him. Light land. I'm getting a little comfy on this John now. What? Whoa! What? One hand yeah. combos? Oh my god! Nah, I ain't That's never the seen. I, ever did. I, swear to god. I ain't never seen that before. I never did that Bro! Oh my god! Bro did yeah. one-handed peg hops, doggy. What? Are you kidding me? Chopped cheese, Harlem. About to hit Central Park again. And catch some vibes. My mind has smashed this chopped cheese real quick. What the?
What's up, YouTube? I'm gonna be headed to the warehouse because we're gonna be installing a couple of upgrades to my new bike. You guys saw the last video, I just unboxed my new Throne Cycles, the Goon Runner. I've been loving it so far. You know, I did bump into a couple of issues with this thing that I will address at the warehouse when I get there. So far, you know, I've been loving the, the new Goon Runner, you know? It's like a, it's a smooth bike out the box. I took this thing to New York and it performed good mid ride in new york though the cranks did become loose so i was like whatever no big deal grabbed some allen keys and i tightened them but literally yesterday evening i went for a calm ride and the cranks became super loose to the point where they wanted to come off so i said whatever left them loose i'm gonna go ahead and change the sprocket out anyways to a new ride out supply sprocket and i'm gonna be installing a new seat as well as changing those grips so we're gonna be doing all that when we get to the warehouse here at the warehouse let's go ahead and get this bike up on the bike stand this bike stand i'm using is a park tool bike stand if you guys are interested in getting one of these i have a link to my amazon store down in the description below if you guys are interested in purchasing one using this particular bike stand for about four years, four or five years. Every time I come out to Philly, I use this bike stand and it gives me no problems. I've built quite a amount of bikes on this bike stand and it's pretty sturdy. You can raise it tall. I'm a tall guy, so you know, things can't, I can't be working down here. I gotta have the bike a little bit higher than usual. So yeah, link to that is in the description below, but let's go ahead and jump to this. Um, so here's the problem, right? Loose cranks after the second ride on this bike. Seems like too many spaces or something. All right, y'all, we got Maddie on the camera. Maddie from Ride Out Supply. Say that's hello, why Maddie. I'm, that's why I'm so low to the ground. Let me try and get higher. We got this chrome with black reflective 32 tooth Ride Out Supply sprocket that we're gonna be installing on my new Goon Runner. Nothing wrong with that sprocket. You know, I ain't bashing the sprocket, but yeah yeah so we're gonna go ahead and change that out so how i'm gonna do that is we're gonna grab a few allen key tools and i'm gonna take the chain off first say hello lj what's up <laughs> <laughs> so i'm gonna take these cranks off Come over here. How do I? Squeeze over here on this side. Over here? Yeah. I can't on. see anything, so. You're good. Just tap the screen once and it'll turn back on. Hey. So I'm gonna loosen that. Sorry, I'm an amateur. I just make stickers. You're good. <laughs> and then loosen this one, even though it's already loose. And boom, it comes right out. Take all these spacers off. Don't lose them. You don't need them. Yeah. Should slide right off like that. Pretty easy removing these sprockets, and the install process is pretty easy as well. You don't need this silly. Where's that silly spacer at? You don't need this silly spacer right here to install that sprocket. So wait, show them. Oh, sorry. You're right. This one. Pop that spacer. Closer. Thanks, LJ. Yeah, we want to make LJ get on the camera in a second. Why don't you tell them? Yeah, LJ. That's it. All right. I just I noticed uh, watching your video, putting it together, everything kind of seemed far away because you're tall, and the wide angle on it is like really wide. Yeah. So on it's the hard GoPro. To see some of the things you're pointing to. Comes off like that. Sheesh. That slides on like that. Yeah, easy. I've only done this like a million times, so. Yeah. But people be discouraged. This is stuff you can do at home if you got the tools and patience. Give it a nice little yeet. 
it's good to go. There Let's go back over here. You're gonna take this skinny spacer, this spacer goes on the right side and put that like that. Uh, I think I might have to add a spacer. Oh, LJ is saying grease. Hold up guys, <laughs> we gotta put some grease in there. Let them know. There on the out. There's no such thing as too much grease, by the way. But definitely don't put too much grease. I should put I put one spacer just in case. And then this goes on the bottom bracket right here. I'm just gonna slide it on here first. And then So I stripped my crank bolt riding the bike loose yesterday, LJ Catch. Uh, I stole a crank bolt from a SoCal that was laying around in the warehouse. And boom, goes on. Stuff does break, guys, so don't think anything gonna break. Luckily, I had a spare crank bolt laying around. But don't be like me and ride your cranks loose. If they become loose, immediately tighten them so you don't break stuff. So yeah, now we're gonna tighten up our cranks. <laughs> That's getting cut. <laughs> That's getting cut. <laughs> All right, we're gonna tighten these cranks up. Pretty simple install, you feel me? You could do it at the crib. LJ, you got anything you want to add? Put LJ on the spot, baby. LJ doesn't want to be on camera. I'm I don't play spot. Me. Sometimes I don't want to be on camera either, but you know. LJ doesn't want to be on camera, then proceeds to walk into the camera. <laughs> <laughs> How's that look? Maddie? I love it. Type shit. No, it does look great, though. All right. This one's my favorite. Wow. LJ on the can. All right, let's change the seat. You want to change the seat? Sure. Because I didn't feel like doing it. So, easy. What size Allen key is that? Six. Okay, you're going to take your six, go under the seat, unscrew that bolt right there. Uh, it'll probably be easier with the seat yeah, off. The seat. Got it. You got the bike? Yep. Alright. I'll hold the bike. Uh, we don't need this. Yeah, I was gonna say we don't need this anyways, you know, rock supply. Black or silver? Uh silver, low key. Other way. The key to this is getting it to the point where you just Yeah, you don't want to have to take off all that stuff sometimes. Yeah. Get the bottom part to be able to twist before you take it out. That way the bolt doesn't come off all the way. Like that. Tight. And then you just flip this over. Anybody want a seat? Here's how you can earn it. Uh, follow me. Follow, follow Ride Out Supply and comment done on this video. We'll pick a random person. There you go. You like your seat all the way forward because you want this much space in the rear, right? Damn, you did that quick. <laughs> I told you, just keep it. That's the best part. Like when you when you're able to get the bolt as long without pulling out, so that way you can just twist the bottom part and pull it straight up and drop it right in. I stop pulling out. <laughs> nice. That's how you like it. You like your seat all the way. Oh yeah. So you get this is time. that Willy angle. Let's go ahead and slap some grease on there. When I built this bike, I did not put any grease. It had a black seat clamp on there, but we're gonna be installing a silver right out supply. Quick release. I love the numbers on the seat post. It so helps out a lot. Your seat, your seat height right every mm -hmm. time. So anyone could just ride my bike. And you can put it right back. 
and I won't be pissed about it because back then I used to like have to uh, mark it. Yeah. But now I ain't got to do that. I'm What's next? Sheesh. Sticker kit? Sticker nah, kit. That's in the future. Part two. Part two. Next, next couple of videos we'll deal with that. All right, we got these pedals actually. Mare pedals, nothing too crazy. Quick install. Grease on the pedals so Grease. they don't get stuck. And also, tell them about that left and right. So on these pedals, you'll see on the end here, it's marked L. That's what Steezy was talking about in the originally assembled video. They're marked L for the left and R for the right. That way you don't get them mixed up while putting them on. Put them on the wrong way, you can strip your cranks. All right, changing the pedals, pretty easy. I wanna get some kind of wrench like this, 15 mil. And then taking off pedals, you always wanna pull towards the back of the bike, right? That's what I believe, like that. So, came off fairly easy, which is kind of scary. <laughs> but, because you were riding it. Yep. Especially in New York. So this one is R. Pull towards the back of the bike, it goes loose. <clears throat> Very nice. All right, these grips are pretty easy to change. You're gonna need like a size three Allen key, and then you're gonna take off these two bolts right here. These are called lock-on grips, so they come off pretty easy. There's usually an end cap. This is the end cap, protects you from scratching up somebody's wood. <sighs> I've done it before. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pull it up. just like that, and it comes right off. Got some theory data grips. Water method or the Windex method? Windex method. Okay. Windex or glass cleaner should work. Spray a little bit on the bars. I like to spray a little bit inside there. It'll dry in about a day or two, or if I leave it out in the sun, I'm not really too worried about it. Here. Set that on. Believe it or not, I cut up better with like these kind of grips than lock-on. Lock-ons are hella uncomfortable. Somebody commented on my video, they said, throne made like a, a throne fast ripper. Tell me. It's a good way to look at it. They said, thrones, thrones version of a fast ripper. You know there's a hammer in the toolbox, right? No, not a lot of people be having hammers though, so you know, <laughs> sometimes you gotta improvise. Old parts become hammers. Exactly. Damn! That's what they say in Philly. They be like, damn! <laughs> but me personally, you know, I gotta have a chrome reflective something on there. I might add some yellow to it because the Maxis have yellow. It's a cool little accent. But that was a pretty simple, quick install. If you guys are interested in all the parts that I have on this bike, hit the link down in the description below and you can grab them and use code STEEZY at checkout for 50% off. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, use, guys. Use code STEEZY at checkout and STEEZY will pack your order. There you go. Ooh, okay. Okay. That? And I'll sign it. There you and go. And I'll sign it. But yeah, guys, that's about it. I'll see you guys.